What is up, everybody? So it looks like we got a new Prime Battle LR coming soon, which is going to be LR, Bobbity, and Majin Buu. Good. Now, I don't really know, know much about this LR outside of them existing. So this could be interesting. I know a lot of people don't like farming these Prime Battle LRs because they take 777 medals. And it's kind of ridiculous and it takes some time, so hopefully they have a little bit of mechanic where you can boost that up a little bit. Instead of getting 7 medals, you can do, you know, 15 or whatever medals uh, run, like, similar to Krillin's and Frieza's, because at least then it's not as, like, terrible. Now, they are doing easy A's for prime battles, but these guys are probably way, 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 way down the road. So, I would still farm them up because there's always going to be that, like, future thing where they do with the... Prime Battle with LRs if you haven't fully awakened or whatever. They do these legendary campaigns and you get like, you know, rewards for doing these campaigns. So I would, you know, I would do them. So whenever they do do this campaign in the future, if you have them done, you get some like, you get 23 stones when you just have them and then if you have them level, level 20 uh, super attack, you do get the, you know, additional Elder Kai's and then obviously the orbs that you put into them you get back. So like, I would do it. It's totally worth doing these I uh, these Prime Battle LRs. Uh, no, I'm not saying you should do them all in one day, knock them out one day, it's impossible. I would say, do them as you need to. Like, I would say dump your boost, for example, like, your stamina boost. If you're not like, leveling anything right now, just dump your uh, boost in and get these guys, you know, three times a day. Boost it. Because I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use your boost. Outside of that, there's no news on what's coming. Uh, I'm sure part two for these guys are coming and we'll get more news. However, it is getting close to the end of the month, so we're gonna get probably some news for Goku Day, probably beginning of next month, I would assume. Is when we'll still get, start getting some news for, you know, the next big thing. Uh, Jimba ZZA has already been here a couple days, you should have that done. Like, at this point, it is kind of like, we're kind of done farming things. Like, outside of like they give us plenty of times to do these medals so i guess it is time to kick up the celebration and give us something else to do which is going to be this new prime battle prime battle event now the only negative thing about this is that we are getting a world tournament soon support like sometime so this could be a problem for our stamina so i hope they give us some extra meats to do the world tournament and or to do this prime battle because when it comes to the uh, world tournament versus these guys I'm going world tournament because the rewards are just better so yep that's the news for this we'll go, we'll go check them out and see what they're about so let's get into it and let's go check them out all right so we're here to check these unit out let's see what this is all about fear covering the earth Bobby and Majin Buu good I like how they have that in parentheses good all right so they are a Majin Buu category, P plus 4, HP, defense, and attack, straight across the board, 130. That's actually pretty good for free-to-play players, that's actually extremely good that they're upping the free-to-play stats to 130. I like that a lot, actually, because we are in this conversion of power creep. Now, they do the Bobby and Boo's Destruction as the name of their super attack as 12 to 17 key. That does colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing super attack and medium chance of stunning. So, super battle unit, it looks like. Their 18 key is called Bobby and Boo's Revenge Strategy. Causes meta mega colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing super attack and medium chance of stunning. So once again, it looks like they're built for the free-to-play players to have something to run in Super Battle Road. Their passive is Fierce Second Coming. Key plus 3, and attack and defense 4,000 uh, plus 4, uh, 40,000. I wish they would just turn this into a percent instead of just making a random label of what the heck this is. Because I don't know what this is. This could be 40% for all we knew, which is probably is probably 40%. They just added a bunch of zeros to make it look pretty. Or it look confusing. Whatever. Uh, instead, so he gets himself key. Plus an additional key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30,000 when the target enemy is attack and or defense status down so it's similar to the uh, Goku and Frieza they get more attack and de oh well they get I guess they get a defense too but yeah it's similar to uh, the Goku and Frieza where whenever they have the status effect down on the enemy they get stronger 
status is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance, 30% chance, to become a super attack. Recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. So they heal you. The healing is not really crazy, but he is a margin unit, so they should have some decent... Well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, trash, good, decent, good, good. I'm not a big fan of it, but I understand. And then, okay, their, their link set's not the same, but it's not bad. I wish they'd been bad bosses or something, but it, it's whatever. Categories. Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Cockers, and Human Deeds. Yikes. They are not on many. I mean, Joint Forces could always use the help. Terrifying Conquerors, I don't know if you'd ever run this. I guess you can make some weird Majin Saga Terrifying Conquerors thing, I guess. Majin Buu Saga could definitely use the help for the enemy side, I think, or the uh, villain side, so that's fine. In Deeds, I don't really know much about this category besides small. Let's look at the rainbow stats. That's good HP. It's actually kind of low on attack and decent. Uh, they have decent stats. Alright, so, like, this unit's it's a fun addition to the game. I do like that they're going for. I guess Super Battle Road stats, I guess. It's cool. And this unit's probably got some nice animations. Uh, they're not the craziest, they're not the worst. They're 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 well rounded. I, I think this is a great addition to Global. We've been waiting for these guys for a while. So <laughs> I say a while. Uh yeah, we've been waiting for these guys a while. So uh, they're more than welcome. So let's give them a hand for finally showing up after so long. <laughs> so yep. Get ready to do that long, 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 long grind of medals for this unit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you're new. Comment down below how excited you are for farming another Prime Battle, or if you're not excited because whatever reason. I mean, I get it. I do. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.